And here it is, that's the box. Very nice box actually. If you want to gift it to someone, look at that. It's nicely presented, ready to gift. But we are here to see what's inside the box. So let's open it and check how this frame looks like with all the accessory it's right now. All right, opening the box. Ta-da, here we go. First, we have the user manual. Then we have a cleaning cloth. Of course, the power cord right here. And then the frame itself right here. And of course, we do have this piece that screw in the back of the frame. Here we go, like so. And allow you to leave the frame on your table in this way, or if you prefer also vertically. The frame looks very nice out of the box. I like those wood corner here with the white mat inside it. So that's great. It looks like, like a real photo frame. Like when this uh, frame is off, it really looks like uh, you have like a photo frame in front of you. You just have to slide a photo in. But we have better, we have a digital photo now. <laughs> so, wood on the front, nice frame. On the back here, you have uh, some uh, holes where you can put some hook and then you can hook that uh, frame on the wall. So that's also a possibility if you like that. Off on button right here. And then on the bottom here, we do have a micro USB port, a macro SD port for the micro SD card, and the power port right here, where we are going to connect the included power cable. Here we go. Keep in mind that the micro SD card is not included. You will have to buy one separately for this frame. Anyway, as soon as you plug the frame, it will power on, like so. So do not unplug the frame when it's in this state. You may damage the internal memory. So always wait until it's boot up. If you want to shut it off, wait until it's finished and then you can shut it off after. It even said to you right there on the main screen. First of all, after doing the basic setting like the language and to register it on your Wi-Fi network, then the frame will ask you for an update. It's normal, it just came out of the box, so you may need to update the firmware, which is right there, download and install. So here we go, we're going to do that quickly. All right, it's done, update is done, firmware update. Now you can enter the name of your frame, and then you have a step-by-step -step guide, if you want, to guide you with all the functionality of the frame. If you don't want that, you can skip, because this is if you have a friend to add to send you picture. Right now, I'm going to skip that for now. And that's it. Now your frame is ready to go. I need to load some picture in it. And then it will have some photo to display. So for this, I'm going to grab one of my macro SD card and load some picture on it. To turn off the frame, you can decide either to press here the icon on the screen. It's a touch screen, by the way, everything you do, you can use your finger. There is no little joystick or arrow to mess up with, just with your finger, which is something else I like with this frame. So either turn it off here from the corner of the screen or you press the on off button in the back. Here you go. I'm just going to turn off with the screen so you can choose restart, go to sleep or power off. I'm going to do that now so I can install my picture in the frame. Once you inserted the micro SD card and you are on this screen, just press setting. And then you press manage photo. And then you press import photo here. And it will show you all the photo, here we go, from the micro SD card. Here we go. So here there is like a square on the top right corner. I press it, select everything. And then you press the little download button here, download arrow here on the top right corner. And it's going to import all my picture from micro SD card to the frame. Once it's finished, will tell you all photos are imported. Okay. And now I go back to my frame. And I go back to the main frame. And here we go. There is a date here. You can change that in the setting if you want the date when you added the photo on the frame or not. And then I can <laughs> change my photo doing so. And something else I like with this frame is once you get a photo that don't look correct horizontally, you can just turn the frame vertically 
and automatically it will recalculate the picture and show it to you vertically. Et voilà! <laughs> Much better now. So, I can do that for all the picture. Uh, this one is not looking good, so I'm going to flip it. Here we go, and now it looks much better. So, here we go. Works perfectly, very responsive, very nice, uh, crisp color. I like it. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so that's all good. Now let's uh, download the app and see how to send the picture from the app to the frame. That's another functionality that I love with this frame. You can send your picture to your family or friends when they have one of those frames and then you use your phone to send any picture you want from your vacation, for example, to them. All right, let's go. All right, let's try to send some picture to my friend who owned the frame. So very easy. Here I'm going to get a code. Here we go. That's my code. And I'm going to send that code to my friend here. And then he's going to try to send me some picture back in the frame. Let's see. Here we go. I entered the code on my application on my tablet. And I'm going to send a picture to my friend. So let's uh, try to select a nice picture. And I'm going to send it. We can write a caption here. So with the photo, they, you can write a little text like uh, Oh, my photo from my holiday, or here is my new car, or whatever. So we can write that here. And then we're going to send that. Let's put it next to the frame. Going to send that to my friend. We are going to adjust the picture like it, the app ask, And then send photo. Here you go. You have a new photo. It was really instant. I press send. Poof. It arrived right here. And then... You can tap the notification to see the photo, but the photo will appear right away. And it will be among the other photos that are in the frame. Here we go, with the photo that I've included. And here we go. We do have a caption that I've wrote from my tablet. <laughs> and the date from who it was, and then the date it was received with the caption that you sent with the picture. So, works perfectly. <laughs> That's really awesome. I'm going to uh, gift that to my mother and then that way I can send her a picture of my holiday, any picture I want, directly from my tablet to her frame. And another functionality that I love with this frame is that you can send video. So I took a quick video with my tablet and I'm going to send it to the frame right now. So you can send up to 15 second video. Here we go. Hey guys, check this out. This is my new picture frame right there. Like it. <laughs> All right, see you soon. There we go. <laughs> so you can get not only picture but also a short video sent remotely, like like so. And of course, that will be among all other picture you have in your gallery. Here we go, and then go back to the video. Hey guys, check this out. This is my and the sound you hear, it comes directly from the frame, from the speaker. <laughs> All right, see you soon. In the back, and you can adjust as you saw. You can adjust the volume of the sound here. All right, guys, uh, that's the basic uh, functionality the slideshow is going on. Basic functionality and uh, really the sending a picture and everything works great. This frame looks awesome. So hope you enjoy yours like I'm going to enjoy mine. I'm sure and like my mother is going to enjoy it. When I will be on holiday, she will be able to see all the nice pictures that I send directly from my tablet to her new frame. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Hope this video has been useful. And, well, see you next time. Bye-bye.